Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze of Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze of Troll. In this video, I'm going to show you how to thread mill using the C axis. All right, let's get started. All right, here's what we're going to be working with. We're going to be using a thread mill with a 20 threads per inch, and it's 335 thousandths in diameter. We're going to be cutting an internal half 20 thread. I'm going to go to 502 for the major diameter of the thread, and that leaves us with a difference of 167 thousandths for the diameter offset. On this older machine, when you program in a manual process, it still uses the diameter values. It's not a radius value on this machine. So let's go to the program. I've already created a program, faced it off, drilled a hole, bored it. So now all I have to do is just do the thread mill sequence. So what we're going to do is come over here to the arrows twice and go milling manual process, which is MMP. Exchange point of tool, we want to go to the tool change position, so put a 1 in there. Milling gear number, this must have a 1 in it or a machine will not run. It's, it's just part of the manual process. So put a 1 in the milling gear. And then we're going to grab tool 15, which is my thread mill. And then what we're going to do is rapid to X0. We're going to rapid to Z, 100 thousandths in front of the workpiece. And we're going to uh, home C axis. So C is going to be 0. And then this speed code for the milling. I'm going to run it at 2,000 RPM. And then I'm going to put an offset number of 1 for column 1 for this tool. So the next thing I'm going to do is rapid. I'm going to rapid into the workpiece minus 0.450 And then the next thing we're going to do is do a G1 move. And the final point on X is going to be 167. We're going to feed into the center of the part at X0 and then feed upward to 167. And we're going to do a feed rate per revolution of 5 tenths per rev. And now the next thing we're going to do is now we're going to do the helix portion of it. So do an increment move, which is the easiest way. So a 20 threads per inch has a 50 thousandths distance between the crests of the part of the thread mill. So what we're going to do is do increment 0.05 in a positive value. And then we're also going to do an increment of 360 on C because we want to do one full revolution while it's pulling out. And again, this is a G1 move. It's not a G2 or G3. So 360 must be a positive number. If this is a negative number, you're going to get a left-handed thread. So if you want a left-handed thread, then put a negative 360 in here. Whenever we do a rotation, the machine is going to be in degrees per minute, not in uh, inches per revolution. So put feed rate per minute, 360, and that'll be 360 degrees per minute because we're using the C-axis. 
So now the next thing, we're done with the thread. Now we have to pull it down to X zero. And now we're gonna wrap it out to one inch away from the part. And then we'll say shape N and N. So now let's take a look at the figure. And now we'll run the toolpath check. So it's going to face it off, finish the face, finish the chamfer, drill the part, rough bore and finish bore the part. And now it comes in here with the thread mill. It comes in, feeds up, does a full rotation, rapids down and rapids out. We already have our zero set and I have the part already drilled in the machine. So let's just run the thread mill and then we're done. And there's our part. And there's our part. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. If you guys found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel and gets YouTube to share this video with more people. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching.